Hello YouTube, this is Turd426 and today we have the review of the HG Big Rear Pente from the Gundam Witch from Mercury series. Now once again this was released yesterday in Korea so I finished building it and now I am reviewing it. So once again this review is going to be a somewhat simple review because for those who have been collecting the kits or you know have seen my videos, this you may notice that this kit seems a little bit familiar. You may have seen the format, of, well the color is different but you may have seen the overall shape and design somewhere before. That is because, yes, you are correct, because back then there was the bigger uh, view uh, that was released early as well. So this review is going to be a very quick comparison um, uh, of with this kit, and then we're, we're going to we're gonna check the main differences, which is going to be equipment and design on certain areas. So, and uh, because of this aspect, this, got, this kit is technically a variant of this kit, so which is why they use the exact same parts for the main base units, or... So the body, the legs, the arms, those are exactly the same. So, um, so articulation, you can expect the exact same thing. If you want to check the articulation, you can check my previous review of that. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Or on the comment section. Alright, so let's go on to the review. So, let's see what we get. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the main unit itself. Now, when I first saw the announcement and saw the promo pictures of this unit, I had zero plans on getting it because it definitely, I thought it was the exact same mobile suit as well. Um... But once again, after seeing this kit, this unit in action in the anime, it actually changed my mind a lot. So, which is why I decided to go for it. So, there might be even more kits like that in the future uh, regarding the series. So, other than that, let's talk about the stuff that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, so, here are the stuff. So, number one, we get this. This is a small mini action base for the wired action. So. Basically what this kit can do is that, or in the manual, or even in the anime, what they did is that this is a shield connector. So there's a shield there, you can connect these wires, okay? You can connect this wire to make it, to use, to, to do some wire action going on here. Now you connect this part with the, with that part, and this part connects to a very giant shield. So, and this wire cannot hold anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest, this thing cannot hold anything. So, which is why you're supposed to connect the shield to this like mini action base somehow and then connect this to the wire to do the wire action. Problem is, this action base is also very light, so this thing's gonna be moving all over the place. So, once again, not really recommended. So, if you have other multiple action bases, definitely use that. That's, you know, that you, the ones that you actually buy. Alright, and once again, we'll we do have wire action, so I will show a demonstration later. And then here we have a sticker sheet. Now, for those who built the previous kit, may have noticed uh, the huge <laughs> size, the, the huge um, amount of difference regarding the stickers. That's because of the backpack right over here. Now, the stickers aren't as bad as you think. I just like to just use all of them, but one thing I think, if you're not too picky, you can just use these and not use these at all. I'll explain why this is a very odd sticker. And for the shield, you have to choose the, between, on the middle section, you have to choose whether to be using the like the activated version or non-activated version for the shield. I just went for the green one just to match all the colors as well, so yeah. All right, so other than that, here are the main equipment. So number one, we get a beam rifle. Yes, despite how this looks and despite how this is held by the mobile suit in the anime, it's like kind of held like a bazooka, but in the manual, this is just a beam rifle with a hot, with a very large tank capacity. So yeah, it's just a beam rifle that has a lot <laughs> a very huge magazine to some degree so yeah and the handle does move forward and backwards so holding this is not a big problem as well and also I would like to apologize in advance because there's some sort of construction going on on the first floor so you may hear some noise like drill noises and we do get some beam saber effect parts and this actually you are able to use two not because you get two beam saber hilts you do get one beam saber hilt but for the other one you can actually plug this in um, onto the rifle and I believe in the anime, the beam rifle, the color of the, this beam was actually green. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice effect color. And this is something that doesn't happen too often, where you do get a, a weapon, but the hole would be either smaller or even larger, so you can really attach this. But now we can't, so that's a pretty big bonus to me. And here we have the shield. I really love the shield. I mean, it's large. It's kind of large, but, you know, pretty good. Uh, and this thing is not only just a shield. There's In the anime, for those who don't watch, is that... They have this system uh, that's like an anti-gun format or Gundam system where they call it the antidote. It's basically, it nullifies the Gundam unit. So, of course, in the last episode, it, it's been uh, revealed that up to permit, this antidote only works up to uh, permit score level 3. But 
beyond four, starting from four, it doesn't work. So yeah, but still, this is a shield and you can open these sections up to reveal like these small green parts on the inside. You can see the, these red parts on the inside as well. That is pretty cool if you ask me. So obviously the green parts are all stickers. So just want you to let me know. And here we have the connector for the other arm. And you can see, you might see this handle looking thing. This is a beam saber hilt. So you just need to pop it out and yeah, you have a beam saber. That's a pretty cool, cool design if you ask me. All right, so uh, let me get this thing off the stand and let's do a quick comparison. So once again, articulation is identical. So I'm not gonna go over articulation as well. So here we have the design. You can see overall, other than the backpack and the color, you can see it's the exact same format. Starting from the bottom, the feet, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see um, the feet are exactly the same the legs are exactly the same even the sides are exactly the same uh, oops sorry about that the main body is also exactly the same now because of the color difference this may look slightly fatter than this one but they're actually the same size uh, even the chest is the same the shoulders are the same now the head actually I thought the, even the head was the same but while building I noticed it, it definitely felt something different uh, when I was uh, attaching the stickers now you can see the head now this one the original one was much more sharper You can see the head and the um, and the top section you have a nice symbol going on there Although on the manual they tell you to slap on the clear piece and then slap the sticker on top of which I didn't do And all, all the other sides there is still the stickers as well So that's no big difference although I believe you attach the sticker on top of the clear piece once again so the head so the head is different as well, and the backpack is obviously different. So uh, let me before we go on. So uh, let me do that quickly. So on this head, for example, you have you attach the stick, and on top of that, you put the clear piece. Same goes for the inside. So you're supposed to um, slap this, uh, uh, put the sticker on the red piece first, and then you t attach the clear piece on top of it. That is much better. And yeah. So we have a much more cleaner look, although yeah, the sticker inside may seem a little bit messy, but once again, better than slapping on sticker on top of the clear, clear piece. So that's that. Now, uh, the backpack right over here going on here. So the backpack is very simple compared to the original one, because the backpack on the original one, there was a lot of stuff ha happening right over here. So, um, and yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of large giant backpacks. So I do prefer this smaller one. So we can see it's a very simple design with one thruster and you, and you can move these up and down. Now these are not additional fuel canisters. These are the also the antidote, antidote or jamming device for the Gundam format. So what they would do is that these would go up and then you open up these to reveal these parts. Now one thing you, here is where I should talk about the stickers. Where does all those stickers go other than to the shield? So you can see you may have noticed that like, this opens up and you think oh maybe that's just the inside here. But yes it is but the whole inside is is actually not connected to this this is actually a separate part which is supposed to be oh, let me just get this part out it's supposed to be entirely clear purple so yes other than this gray part inside it's a very large piece of like these cl clear piece purple clear pieces and they tell you to attach these stickers like these gray ones and green ones on top of a clear piece I don't know why they did this but still I feel I feel like that's a waste but yeah, so if you still want to have the purple clear piece, I suggest you don't attach the gray ones. But basically, you're supposed to attach the gray ones first and then apply the green stickers to cover up everything. So um, that is just my opinion regarding that. So yeah, uh, so we've seen the basics of the kit. So I'll be right back with the shield action and let's see what we got in terms of uh, action poses. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the first demonstration where you can hold the beam rifle with no problem as well. Now, once again, these do these units do hold the beam rifle as like a bazooka. And thanks to the moving handle, you should have zero problems holding the bazooka as well. And the shield. Now, despite how big this is, thanks to the overall connection on the arm. So this connection may seem a little bit familiar. This was the, also the same type of connection that we saw for the bigger boo. But instead, we have another extra joint here. So once again, if you take off the shield... Um, you're left with this this joint. So this joint obviously you can, allows you to spin the uh, the shield in any uh, direction you want to display on. So that's that's one thing. But also there's multiple joints. So there's one joint here, two joints. So you can move the shield forward and backward like that into your position. So 
um, you can move this or like this so you can make the shield face any direction that you want to do so and that is a huge big uh, plus and thanks to the overall connection type of the arm you should have zero the arm should have zero problem holding the shield as well so once again despite because usually when we see units with giant shields they would have this issue where the shield is too heavy or hard to hold this one has zero problems at well as well so huge big bonus as, if, if that's on my opinion uh, all right so i think there's one thing left to show and that is the wire action and the beam saber so i'll be right back with that demonstration as well Okay, I'm back. So here we have the final demonstration, which is the wired shield action. So number one, I actually uh, I decided to activate the whole antidote system or jamming system. So I opened up all the shield parts and on the ones on the backpack as well. So and I also brought on a different action base because once again, with the wire and the very light action base was a heavy item. It's usually not the best you know, combination going on here. And here is one of the main reasons, once again, explaining why I do not like the wire action is because it's very difficult to make the wires look clean in general. Because once you already wrapped it around or you kind of folded it up a few times, then the wire becomes very messy in general. So that's, I'm usually not a big fan. But once again, if you have an action base, uh, they, the, they do, uh, the kit does include a small adapter part so you can connect this small peg onto the action base as well. And yeah, it holds no problem as well. And wire, I think you, I suggest you kind of cut off a little bit more because this wire does seem a little bit too long for what, what, you're, what you're trying to do. So uh, kit wise. So if you do think it's a bit long, you can always cut it off if you want to do so. And I also brought out the beam saber. No big deal. It's a typical beam saber, but because the hand is the handle is very thin, uh, yeah, it can kind of go the it can go through all the way in. So uh, make sure if you're displaying, make sure you you're making it look like it's holding the handle and not making it slide through all the way in. Uh, and another thing I forgot to mention is that the backpack, the thrusters, it can go up and down a little bit, but not by much, but still it's a big difference depending on what you're trying to do. And once again, uh, these parts open up, so yeah. And that is pretty much it for the review. So once again, uh, uh, the, the design, the overall design and this mobile suit, you know, uh, ability this is kind of like grew on to me at first when I first saw the announcement and design of this I thought it was the exact same copy with a different color, but not exactly and once again seeing this mobile suit in action definitely changed my mind and there are certain mobile uh, There are cer certain kits out there that got announced But once again, I don't like the design But I'm going to wait and see how they do in the action and then maybe it'll change my mind uh, later, so yeah Hopefully there's more kits like that. Anyway, this was pretty much it for the review for the Big Guru uh, Pente. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.